Hey guys, clicked on this video today and uh, you guys want to know how to paint a valve cover that actually has uh, letters that are actually raised above the uh, valve cover itself. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, a couple things you're going to need, a very high temp primer, which I had, um, it's a 2000 degree primer, uh, base primer uh, from Rust-Oleum, I believe, and also you're going to need uh, obviously your colors of choice and some tape. Uh, some sandpaper and a couple wire brushes and tons of brake clean maybe four bottles or so depending on how bad the valve cover is gunked up uh, and maybe if you take the route that i did uh some uh, silicone like rtv or something like that would be great uh, but keep watching and you guys are going to figure out how i did this um it's pretty simple but definitely takes a lot of patience and time uh you know don't be afraid to mess up Obviously, you can kind of take all that stuff off with a little bit of brake clean or even just sand it all back down. I know that doesn't seem the best, but it's kind of what you got to do sometimes. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so here's the valve cover. Uh, went in and got this from my local junkyard. Again, off of a 2003 Mazda Protégé, just a regular Protégé. Uh, it's a two liter valve cover. I wanted it to say uh, dual overhead cam, the 16 valve, and have the Mazda symbol. And I'm gonna be painting this a very uh, certain way, uh, the way that I want it to be painted. So I have taken out uh, everything that I needed to in order to be able to thoroughly clean this. Uh, there's some stuff on the underside, but these are kind of just like, this is just kind of the hardware that goes around in each one of the holes here. Uh, just be gentle with them. I might wind up getting new dress-up hardware, um, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and stick with these. Uh, I am going to have to get a new PCV uh, grommet. As you can see, I had to tear this one uh, into literal shreds. Again, that's supposed to be a soft rubber so that we can actually seal. And I have another oil cap over here uh, that I can use. I might wind up taking the gasket out of this one and putting a gasket on mine. That is the factory one, I believe. Uh, so. I'm going to go ahead and swap that over, but everything's out of it, um, so now I'm going to start scrubbing. All right, so it doesn't look too much different than what it did the last time that I picked the camera up, uh, but I did go ahead and scrub it a little bit better. Um, got everywhere I pretty much could with the brush. Uh, now I'm going to flip this thing over here. Um, I will be putting a new valve cover gasket on this uh, since the old one was, of course, real, real hard and brittle. Uh, but I do have access to a parts washer at my job, so that's what makes this super easy for me. So I know at this point you guys are probably like, well, why did this guy wash uh, this valve cover and do all that work just to pop more stuff off at the end? Uh, so I didn't want to bend the metal. Uh, I had silicone sealer around it. That's for the PCV system of this car. Uh, I didn't want to bend it and possibly mess up the PCV system. Uh, but this way I put it in the parts washer and uh, they came right off nice and straight. Um, so I'm going to give these things a quick scrubbing and... Uh, reseal this up because that's going to be no good for the pcv system all right so here we are back at the garage um got my tape and i did clean this out as best as that i could um it, all the rest of the stuff that's on there is pretty baked on there um i'd have to take a wire wheel but i don't really want to scratch up the surface too much uh, so good enough for me right now go ahead and take my tape mark everything off that i don't want to be painted all right so as you can see went ahead and got everything uh, sorted out here got all my tapes over the holes uh, i got tape over this i know it doesn't look very pretty but it's gonna get the job done it's gonna keep it out where i don't want it. and i did do a little extra here for you guys i did cover up the bottom 
just so that way I can get the sides and not have to worry about getting it down inside the valve cover. Just finished priming it. I have two different types of paint that I'm going to be using. Well, three, but I have an aluminum uh, color paint. It's a paint plus, uh, plus primer. Um, this is what I use to paint my strut tower brace and then some metal cast uh, blue anodized. The combination of these two come out really, really nice. Uh, so that's why I'm using this. It's a real light color underneath. You can see the primers back here. It's a real dark gray, but I am going to be using that uh, aluminum to kind of give this color a little bit of brightness and just kind of make it look a little bit more blue and match close. Alrighty, I know I skipped a part or two here, but I did go ahead and get that uh, an blue anodized or anodized blue on there. Um, and I did put tape over the lettering. I let that dry for about a day or so. And I went ahead and sanded off the rest of it uh, because I had tried to primer over top of that stuff. And let me tell you, it does not come out the best. So definitely go ahead and sand whatever you're not going to be um, leaving that color. Go ahead and sand the rest of that down. I tried my best, couldn't really get my knife in there uh, to kind of etch that away, but did come out pretty decent. So now I'm just going to go ahead and prime this back up again, and then we're going to get on to painting it the color of the body. And here's my finished product here. Went ahead and got that last coat on there, took all the tape off. In my opinion, this came out absolutely amazing. And if you guys have the time to do so, go ahead and take your time and do it. It will come out absolutely pristine. Like I said, it takes a lot of patience and time, but then you can go ahead and get a result like this. All right, well, I went ahead and painted all my hardware uh, after I went ahead and finished up that valve cover. Uh, this is the factory one. As you can see, it's pretty beat up here. We'll have to swap over this cam position sensor. We'll have to swap over the ignition uh, coils and the PCV valve. We'll need a uh, 10 millimeter, um, 10 mil socket and you'll need to take off 11 bolts the whole way around. I'm gonna go ahead and get to swapping this over. I'll put you guys in the time lapse and I'll catch up with you afterwards. Here we are, finished product. You saw what I did. Went ahead and obviously took this harness, removed the harness, took off the coil packs like I said, put all the new hardware on. It honestly did not come out in my favor with the hardware. I thought I did a pretty decent job painting them, uh, but the bolts just kinda took all that paint off. It all just spidered off and that was the end. Alrighty, well it's been about two months uh, since I recorded this video. Just wanted to show you guys how well this actually came out. It came out very well and it has not peeled or anything like that yet. It doesn't show any signs of wanting to peel. Uh, so I think I got a good layer on that. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this around and show you guys. There it is. It's got a little bit of dirt on it. I need to wipe it down pretty good. Just gonna use a little bit of uh, probably like water or microfiber towel uh, and try to get that off as best that I can. But there it is. Looks great. Still looks pretty much the way that I left it when I put it on there. But uh, yeah. Uh, I tried to search this up myself. Uh, I could not find anything with the letters actually being raised up uh, on the valve cover. I've seen a lot of them where they're dented down in, so maybe this is a first. And maybe this might help a lot of people out there when they're trying to paint their own valve cover. Most of the time, what you'll see is somebody will just completely paint the entire valve cover one color, or they'll just tape off the letters, and then that letter will be uh, that original aluminum finish. And some people might like that, but what I wanted was... Uh, it's actually kind of really close to what the Mazda uh, symbol was uh, back in the day uh, on color. And uh, I think that actually goes really well with the car. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Just wanted to show you that little bit. And uh, that's it for me. So thank you guys. And like I said, catch you in the next one.